I was lucky enough to start my hunting life at the age of four. This was during the heydays of the early 60s. I shot my first deer on my father's 49th birthday at the age of 14 in the head of the Karamea. Since then, hunting deer, pigs, chamois and tar has been a huge part of my life. I've shot deer, captured them and farmed them. Today I run a small mob of fellows so that I can wake up each morning and see deer. I've shot deer by the hundreds or perhaps the thousands, sold them in the early days and made good money from them. I still shoot the odd one for meat. Now I just enjoy filming them. My granddaughter comes out with me occasionally and understands that I don't shoot hinds or fawns and she is quite happy with that. But if it's meat we require, she knows that stags aren't quite so lucky. Opportunities for young hunters to cash in on this valuable resource is no longer there. Indeed, successive governments have made it impossible through over-regulation. We are fortunate in New Zealand to have hill and high country farmers who still enjoy seeing and shooting the odd deer to supplement the mutton and beef supply in the freezer. The following scenes are exactly what I remember in the early days as a kid and it is still one of the most awesome sights to this day. My granddaughter was keen for me to put one of these on the deck. I left these guys undisturbed although they had gotten wind of us earlier. I was fortunate enough to peel out another young stag just before dark. This old hind had planted her fawn and was out late afternoon for a feed. It is interesting to see that she was only eating the flower heads off the Horatium praeautum. That's something I've probably never noticed in the past. <laughs> 